There we go. Oh, he just sipped it. Oh my gosh. Dude, is there better days? All right, guys, we have a different adventure plan today. So after Scotty was here yesterday, that you, I hope you guys saw that video. If not, you know, go watch that video. It was a fun one. But we're basically on a mission to use the plane to get out to access fly fishing. You know, the whole idea is the plane isn't just to just dink around and have fun with. It can get us places that are of value to other things that we're doing. So today, the plan is we're gonna fly up to this super remote, tiny little spring creek in the middle of nowhere, Nevada, which without the plane is like hours and hours. I think it was a three hour drive and you need a high clearance vehicle. It's a really rough road. It scratches the heck out of your car or your truck because of the sagebrush. So we're gonna get the magic carpet ride in the airplane directly to there. Okay, Scotty, what flavor do you want? We got cafe mocha, vanilla, creamy chocolate, strawberry, banana, or mint chocolate. Oh, dude, cafe mocha. Okay. Cafe mocha. Nice, dude. I am gonna go with creamy chocolate. So one thing I did wanna talk about really quick, I'm sure some of you guys are like me, and when we're on the go, especially when I'm running late, I'm really bad about kind of planning out meals. And that's where Soylent comes in, and full disclosure, Soylent is sponsoring this video, but I actually really love what this brand is about. So basically Soylent has ready to drink meals. They've got 28 vitamins and minerals in them, 20 grams of protein, very low sugar, and they have healthy fats. So basically the idea here is you can grab and go and actually get a healthy meal. And uh, they are priced affordably, so they're cheaper than even going and getting like a fast food meal, which is incredible, because a lot of times when you're trying to get something healthy, it means that you're gonna pay a lot for it, and Soylent's kind of policy or their their overall goal is to make it affordable to the masses. So anyway, that is what we're gonna be having for our lunch today because we didn't have time to actually make ourselves anything fancy. So cheers to Soylent. Soylent's gonna offer 30% off to the first 500 of you guys if you want to try Soylent. Use code TRENT30 at checkout. I'll put a link below. Thank you again, Soylent, for sponsoring this one. Now let's get going, dude. We are uh, already running behind. Let's go try to catch some fish. Inside your head, I got to know if you were insane. I want to swim around your bloodstream, my man. Cast cradle with your veins. Pop right out every time, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm spoiled with this engine. It changes things. I mean, this thing did pretty good, even with the like 100 horse naturally aspirated. Yeah. The guy that just turned downwind, we're already out climbing him and we're not even halfway down the runway. So he's doing a full pattern, not even two pattern altitude. And we're gonna, yeah, we're definitely well above him now. So that's the thing, like most airplanes at this altitude coming out of stead, like it's like that. Like it takes the better part of the circuit or the pattern to get to the altitude that you fly the pattern at. Fine, I'm like halfway down the runway, and even with us, all these bags, full fuel, full everything, we're like, Loop. yeah, ain't no thing. Flown much in the Sierras, like south. So, no, not like the eastern Sierras, like in farther down south. We're in the Nevada Triangle right now, which you know the Bermuda Triangle, where all these planes have went missing. They've lost like, I forget what it is, 30, maybe a hundred, couple hundred planes uh, that have gone down in the Bermuda Triangle. There's like 3,000 in the Nevada Triangle. Now a lot of them are because of like government, you know, test facilities like Area 51 and stuff, but the Eastern Sierras have like taken some, uh, like there was like a, a world record holding glider pilot. And that guy knows about downdrafts, knows about all this stuff. He was out in a decathlon and I, I, I'm assuming it was mountain wave, we don't ever know. But he went down on the Eastern Sierras. It took him like years to find it, the, the wreck. Whoa. So the Eastern Sierras is just like as hostile as it gets and super unforgiving, you know? Yeah. Out here, like, sure, we could get beat up pretty good because of the wind coming off of the Sierras here. But like if I get pushed down because of a downdraft, like we have somewhere to land. It's not just trees and rocks. Here's some wild Mustangs for you. Oh, no way. Yeah, those are all wild horses. Isn't that kind of cool? So sick, dude. Oh, a bunch of babies. 
Wild. I don't think I've ever seen wild Mustangs before. Welcome to the West, man. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting the West desert experience. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> How you feeling? This Good. Make... Yeah, I'm not trying. I'm trying not to look at the point. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like well, we're, we're not talking. circling, but you're not feeling woozy, are you? No, not bad. Good. This Woo! is the one turn that might make you feel woozy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you gonna tap? Yeah. Let's just see what the surface can do. I'm, I'm pretty fast right now, so hold tight. I'll slow us down. I can tell you from experience when it's this color, it's dry. But a lot of times, what I'll do is I just come in and I'll like just milk it on with one tire and just drive along like this. <laughs> One wheel and then we can pop over to the other side. Oh! Wow, that's sick. Kind of cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we do a lot of, like, this is kind of the common meeting place that we all come to. And again, like, for people that are just getting into this kind of flying, that's the stuff, like, the one wheel, like, that's such good coordination training for using all the flight controls at once. And uh, so I take them out here to do that. And it's a great place to measure out, like, a landing strip and see what your actual landing distances are and learn to hit a point and all that. Like, it's just great, great little training ground. I'm going to plan on doing one overflight just to see how everything looks and feels. And then we'll circle back and set up to land. Cool. And what I do with this overpass is I'm just, you know, feeling out the wind, or overflight I should say, this inspection pass. I'm uh, feeling out the wind, I'm picturing in my head where my touchdown point is, which is at these upper rocks actually. So I come pretty far up before I touch down. There is a, a little shelf above those that is a little bump that we'll go over. So expect to go boom once. Okay. I've thought about landing down in this green area, but it turns out it's just a swamp. Oh yeah. So that would be a good way to um, either wreck a plane or have a plane stuck there that you yeah. can't get home. There's the bump. Point. And we made it. We didn't die. <laughs> it's always a plus, man. <laughs> we made it with no bathroom stops either. No, that's a positive too. We had plenty of options. I was waiting for you to ask. Shout out to my bladder. <laughs> <laughs> the real hero of this <laughs> flight. All right, and we made it to my favorite little micro, Spring Creek. It's just the magic carpet ride in, one hour, simple, fun. All over like good train too, that if you had any issues, you can land at any time. Scotty had to pee. If she didn't, we could have stopped and uh, yeah, probably my, my best time landing here. I don't think I've ever landed here without a tailwind. We had a tailwind up high, and as we were coming down, I'm looking at my airspeed and my ground speed, and they're just getting closer and closer. I'm like, oh, there's no tailwind. Yeah, you it said is. it might be a little bumpy, and I thought it was totally fine. Yeah, like I don't want to brag, but I kind of nailed that one. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to get our rods set up for uh, our friends that fish and our fishing nerds. We're fishing really lightweight setups. I've got a little seven and a half foot three weight rod. And you have a eight foot four weight. And we'll throw on some big legged bugs like hoppers or, or chubbies. And that's what's so fun. They're all off the top water. And uh, we're gonna get our stuff together, get headed down. Coming off of the, the winter, it's been a lot of nymphing, which is some slower fishing for some of you pilot people. Uh, we're getting to fish these top water dry flies and the fish come up and eat it. It's all visual and it's super exciting. So yeah, I'm re I've been looking forward to that. And the weather's nice. It's a good day out. Let's go have some fun. There we go. There are fish in here. Yeah.
Scotty, what do you think? Dude, this is so sick. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. I mean, you fish some pretty rad places. I have two. Somehow I've been very fortunate, but somehow like my heart kind of lives here. That this is like my favorite little like backyard fly in, fish for little trout on little rods, but it's just a good time. Yeah. I mean, when you told me the, the creek's like this wide or whatever. Yeah. I was kind of like, oh, I mean, that's really small. But then we got here and it's so sick. It's like, take like a big scale spring creek and just dial it in. Yeah. And there's, I mean, solid fish for the stream. It was so yeah. cool. Yeah, we got into some good ones. So uh, the weather's been cooperating more so than I thought. Right now we got like no wind. So hopefully I don't jinx that. Maybe we'll have a, a smooth ride home, but uh, we're gonna get fired up, warm the engine up and uh, blast off out of here. Lights in case we need Oh, let light. me turn my, plane in, my phone in airplane mode. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's how people crash. All right, guys, and welcome back to the hangar. Operation Magic Carpet Ride 2 Mini Golf of Fly Fishing was a success. We caught a bunch of fish. We uh, got to play with all our camera toys, which is always fun, you know, both Scotty and I as creators. We love what we do, and I love making videos, and I love playing with cameras. I love every part of it, so this is like the ultimate culmination of everything I love right now, which is like flying airplanes, shooting videos, fly fishing. It's overall a good time and I, again, just like my last video, I'm really loving using the backcountry airplane for more than just flying it for fun and, and using it to access the backcountry. And this was a perfect example of that. Super remote spot, pretty fast, easy flight out. So sick. What do you think? I, I'm great. Besides getting a little queasy on the way back, I'm, I'm stoked. <laughs> We're starting to hit that uh, summertime, bumpy, rough air and we got a little bit of that on the way home. But anyway, uh, thanks again Soylent for sponsoring this one. Anyone interested in grabbing some, make sure you use my link, get you a little discount there. And uh, with that, you guys know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Honestly, you should. It's worth it. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.